My name is George Jones, I'm the farm manager here at Bridgewater College Rodway Farm. So I was looking to change my routine because I thought there was an opportunity to have a better result using a specialist pre-cleaning product than compromising with a happy medium traditional iodine based product. Spray pre-milking, we're using quite a lot of product, especially on particularly dirty cows to get them clean because we got to a point where we couldn't get any faster and the cleaning quality wasn't as good as we thought it could be. So that's why we started looking at the foaming product. Well, teat stimulation is an important part of the milking routine. We're trying to get the cow properly prepared. So we should think of, of cleaning teats before milking as a two-stage process. The purpose of the cleaning is to remove bacteria, remove soiling, and anything that will potentially increase bacterial load in, in the milk. The purpose of the disinfection is to kill the pathogenic bacteria that exist on the teat surface. The contact time for any product pre-milking is going to be somewhere between 30 and 40 seconds. So for the product to be effective, it needs to have a rapid kill. In my opinion, there has to be a degree of compromise built in to a combined pre- and post-milking product. Now that doesn't mean to say it's not effective, but in my opinion, it will never be as effective as a targeted pre-milking product and a targeted post-milking product. So preparing a cow requires time. You have to apply the pre-milking product and then you have to remove it. But a cow that's well prepared is a cow that's well stimulated. A cow that's well stimulated has good oxytocin release and good milk letdown. When we have good milk letdown, we remove biphasic or bimodal milk flow at the start of the milking. We're more likely to get a higher peak milk flow rate and the actual amount of time that the cluster will be on the cow is reduced. So the extra time that the farm is going to spend, 20 or 30 seconds per cow, will be more than offset by the cow that lets her milk down more quickly, more effectively, allows you to take the units off more quickly with more aggressive ACR settings and has less hyperkeratosis and less edema. George contacted us. Uh, he was looking for a, a different system of applying other hygiene products. We originally were using a pre and a post as a one shot and we wanted to look at doing a disinfectant system of cleaning cows teats using a specific product for the pre and a specific product for the post. The Pure Foamer fits into the system with the Kino Pure because it produces the highest quality foam that we're looking for to apply to the cows teats. Kino Pure is a concentrate of lactic acid Based on two times a day milking, we're looking at an average of about two mils of foam per cow per day. The foaming system was very easy to install, it plugged straight into the vacuum line. It's very strong, it's very robust, it's very efficient, uh, it saves a lot of time. Uh, we don't waste any product now um, and it's been a great improvement to our dairy system. Um, the Kino Pure system was very easy to get used to. Um, it's based on a traditional cup system but with a fed line on a flat hose which practically works really, really well. The results of using KinoPure have been very, very good so far. Our cell counts are improving, our back to scan is slightly improved also, cluster time on has improved and it's also very practical to use in the parlour. It's very quick to get round the parlour and it's, um, it's not cost us any more time. If anything, it's sped things up because the quality of the product uh, for cleaning is much better than our um, happy medium iodine product we used to use. So we're probably saving about 10-15 minutes at the end of each milking now uh, by purely cleaning the cows quicker with a specialised Kino Pure product.